With temperatures in the 40s, it feels like fall is gone before it started. It's left green country looking a little bit browner. It may have you wondering, where do I find fresh local produce? Well, we found some farmers who've taken their operation inside. We got uh, 1,368 towers. Most of them are 44 rings tall or, or 11 rings tall and have 44 slots. Uh, some of them are 13 and have 52. Uh, all together, we've got a little over 62,000 individual slots for you know, individual plants at any given time. Row after row filled from top to bottom, seedling or harvest ready, this greenhouse knows no season. This is some Lola Rosa. This is a uh, 11 and sorrel. The growing season never stops for Rob Valenta at Scissor Tail Farms. Provide produce for the local community. Uh, typically it comes from uh, California or Arizona and then is trucked in. Uh, so we're able to provide for the local community without having to go through those channels. To make it all happen, a boiler system for heat, lighting to extend the days, water that's conditioned, none of it lost except to evaporation, it's a practice allowing us to reimagine the local farm, and it begins here. They spend one to two weeks in here for the root system to develop before they go into the tower. Once in the tower, the plants blossom and the roots take off. We transfer them into the towers and the roots continue to grow as nutrients rain down over them. Once picked, they wind up in a handful of restaurants and local grocery stores across green country before making their final stop with you. Max Resnick, 2 News Works for You.